Hi everybody, Mrs Clark here, sitting in the courtyard. It's a bit chilly outside, but it's nice and warm in here. This week you might have been learning about pets from a home learning letter, and we've been doing a little bit about that in school as well. Next week we're going to be thinking about animals, African animals in particular. And I wanted to read you a story today uh, that's got lots of African animals in it, and it's called Hand a Surprise. It's written by Eileen Brown, published by Walker Books, and I've got a few props here to tell the story instead of just using the book. But I still do need to use the book because there is a long list of animals that I need to remember and a long list of fruit as well. Okay, so if you're ready, this story is about a little girl called Handa. And Handa had a really, really, really good friend called Akeo, but they didn't live in the same village. So one day, Hans decided that she was going to go and visit a cow, but she wanted to take her a surprise. So she decided to get her basket, which is just here, and very clever, she would carry the basket on her head, but she filled the basket with lots and lots of lovely fruit. She put seven different fruits in. She put a pineapple, an avocado, a mango, an orange, a banana, a passion fruit, and a guava. And she popped that on her head and off she went walking to Akeo's village. While she was walking along, she thought to herself, I wonder which fruit Akeo will like best. Which will be her favourite? The thing was, while she was thinking that, she didn't realise that a monkey had leant down from a tree and he had taken the soft yellow banana. So that was no longer in her basket. And as she walked a bit further, she wasn't aware that an ostrich had poked his neck out from the long grass and had taken the sweet smelling guava. And as she walked a bit further, she wondered, Handa wondered, whether Akeo would like the round, juicy orange. But it wasn't Akeo that looked like the round, juicy orange. It was a zebra that came along and stole it out of the basket. So now Handa's only got four fruit left. And along came an elephant. And the elephant stole the ripe red Mango. Three fruit left. As Handa walked along, a giraffe came along and it stole the spiky leaved pineapple. And so this went on. Down swooped Parrot, who took the purple passion fruit. And so lastly, all that was left in Handa's basket was the creamy avocado. And that was taken by an antelope. Han didn't know anything about it. She didn't realise that her basket was empty. She walked a little further and suddenly she saw a goat. Now the goat was tied up. I'm going to show you the pictures of this. The goat was tied up and it wanted to be free. And it pulled and it pulled and it pulled and it pulled until the rope snapped and it was pulling so hard that it bumped into a tree that Handa was walking underneath. And that tree grew tangerines. And while Handa walked underneath it, all the tangerines tumbled off the trees from where the tree from where the goat had bumped into it and nestled in her basket. Eventually, Handa arrived at Kao's village. And Kao was really, really, really pleased to see her. And Handa said, I've bought you a surprise, okay, and I've bought you a present. So she put the basket down off her head on the floor, and they both looked in it, and Akeo was very surprised, but Handa was even more surprised, because she didn't realise that there were tangerines in her basket. She thought that there was all the other fruit. Wow, said Akeo, tangerines, my favourite. What a surprise. And Handa said, yes. It is a surprise, and 
told K.O. the story. Hope you enjoyed that story. Find out lots about African animals.